Hi there, welcome back. Today is a quick update for the essential 3D carousel effect. Now you have the option to bend images, allowing you to create a circular carousel effect, similar to rotating a cylinder. Here we have six images in the timeline, select all of them and create a fusion clip. Apply the essential 3D carousel effect. By default, it creates a carousel slideshow effect without bending images. To have a smooth playback, let's enable the Fusion Render Cache. In the inspector, you see the new Bend Images setting, which defaults to zero. Decreasing the value to a negative number will bend the images inward, while setting it to a positive value will bend the images outward. Adjust the carousel width to avoid overlaps. To check the bending result, rotate the carousel along the x-axis by 90 degrees to achieve a top view. Additionally, you can adjust the camera position or modify the focal length to obtain a view of the entire carousel from above. Continue refining the bending amount and carousel width until you achieve a result you like. OK, this looks good. We can now reset the rotation X to 0 and camera focal length to 35mm. As always, you can download the template using the link in the description below. If you haven't watched the previous video about the carousel effect, you can find the link on the screen or in the description below. For those interested in learning more about Fusion and how to add this bending function into the effect, please join me as we go through the steps together in the Fusion page. This is the Fusion clip we worked on last time. Open it in the Fusion page. Drag the Merge 3D node to the left viewer for the 3D view. To bend an image in a 3D scene, we will use the Bender 3D node. Press Shift Space to open the Tool Selection window, find and insert a Bender 3D node to the editor. As the Bender node doesn't take media in directly, as a 3D scene input, we add an Image Plane 3D node. Connect media in one. Link the image plane to the Bender node. And connect Bender to the Merge 3D node. Disconnect the previous image plane node from the Merge node, it's no longer needed. Select the Bender node, ensure the Bender type is Bend. Change axis to X, angle to 90. Now when we change the amount, the image is bended. But if we examine the result closely, it's not as smooth as we would expect in a cylinder. Select the image plane node, increase the subdivision to 40. This is good now. Select both image plane and bender nodes, make a copy. Click the node editor to make sure no node is selected. Press Ctrl Shift V or right-click to paste instances of the nodes. Repeat these steps to create a total five sets of instances for the rest of the five images. Reconnect all the images through the new image plane nodes and bender nodes. We now have these white image planes showing together with the images, which we don't want. We can select each of the image plane nodes, go to the inspector, and uncheck the visible option to hide the plane. Or we can replace the node with Transform 3D, because we no longer require the other features in the image plane node. By doing this, the transform settings from the image plane node are automatically migrated to the new transform node. 
Select the Abender node, change the amount to adjust the bending as needed. Alright, that's how we add a bending image function to the carousel effect in the Fusion page. I hope you enjoyed the video and find the template useful. Please feel free to leave your comments and suggestions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.